It is painful to see the club that I love so much dissolve in front of my very eyes. Everything that Chelsea Football Club are, everything that Chelsea Football Club represent is being eroded by greed in the boardroom and by Tottenham in the dugout. It is a travesty what is going on at Chelsea at the moment. And this board are a disgrace. They should hang their heads in shame. But if they do not sack Mauricio Pochettino tonight, they are the pits. If we do not wake up to the news that Mauricio Pochettino is no longer associated with Chelsea Football Club, as he should never have been, they should hang their heads in shame. They are the pits if that doesn't happen. They sack Tuchel. They sack Potter both of whom were better than this charlatan Pochettino. He is Tottenham. It is an unforgivable trait to be in the Chelsea home dressing room when your heart belongs to Tottenham. And Mauricio Pochettino's heart does belong to Tottenham. Do you know how I know that? Because he told us how on earth he got away with it. How did we turn a blind eye on the eve of Chelsea playing Tottenham away from home, on the eve of us travelling to our biggest rivals? Our manager told us that one day he longs to manage them again. He tells us that that team will forever have a special place of his heart. It should have been sackable on the day. And do you know what? He is so unwelcome at Chelsea, just as he ever was. Rivalry matters. Mauricio Pochettino does not belong at Chelsea. It was a ludicrous appointment, an idiotic appointment, not only because of the Tottenham connection, but because the geezer is a loser. Distinctly average manager. What has he ever done? What has he ever achieved? People point to Paris Saint-Germain. It was distinctly average. And look, I told you the other day that I hate him. And I genuinely do. And I know that it's a strong word, but it's truly the way that I feel. And I do not understand why he is getting away with it in the press. I do not understand why people in the press are not calling it out. Whatever radio station you listen to, whatever broadsheet you read, whatever tabloid you read, I guarantee you that people will not be asking questions about Mauricio Pochettino because... The big journos who write in those papers, they need the favour of Chelsea. They need the favour of Pochettino. They need the invite to ask the questions. They need the director of comms at Chelsea. They need the press officer at Chelsea to do them a favour. I don't need that. I don't need anything from anyone at Chelsea. I can tell you the truth. And the fact that people in higher positions of power on the radio, on TV or in broadsheet or tabloid newspapers, are not asking questions about Pochettino, beggars belief. I really do not understand why he is insulated from criticism. When you think about how Frank Lampard was treated at Chelsea, when you think about how everybody asks questions about Frank Lampard, when you think about the passion, the hatred that was directed from all aspects of the media towards Graham Potter, and yet, for some reason, Pochettino, people tell you he's a good manager, people tell you that he is a media darling, and I really do not understand it. It truly is a disgrace and we need him out I can't bear the man I told you the other day that I dedicate a portion of every day to thinking about how disgraceful it is that Mauricio Pochettino is at Chelsea I carve out a little moment to think about how much I hate Mauricio Pochettino and it is completely true the fact that he is associated with Chelsea really is ruining my life at the moment like he's horrible he's Tottenham He is completely incapable. He is inadequate and he is unfit for the office of Chelsea manager. I mean, we are woeful. We are truly abysmal. And for some reason, they aren't talking about sacking him. And I cannot understand it. I mean, out of 23 Premier League games this season, we have lost 10. We've lost 10 out of 23 Premier League games. And I'll tell you what. I don't like a lot of these players. I think so many of them are average. And I actually dislike so many of them. This has got to be the most dislikable Chelsea squad ever. Like, I'm not saying it's the most uh, lacking in talent. You know, this team that we have today, this team that we have assembled, this billion pound squad is probably more gifted at football than the team in the mid to late 90s. Probably. Right, not the late 90s, actually. That late 90s team was better than this team. The mid 90s. We'll say the 94 Cup final team. This is probably, but that team played with heart. It played with passion. You know, the following year from that Cup final in 94, you've got John Spencer running the length of the pitch against Austria and Memphis. We had those brilliant nights at Stamford Bridge where I was there against Bruges, against Zaragoza. And that team will forever capture my heart, not because they were the most talented, but because they cared, because they fought, because it mattered to them. This lot, this lot. Ben Chilwell today getting twisted up by Neto. Did he care? Did it look like he cared? Not really. Did you see what happened at Anfield with the mascot? 
anybody going to take any responsibility for that? Does anybody care about anyone other than themselves? Does anyone care about the fans that pledge their time and their commitment to paying money to follow in Chelsea up and down the country? Does anyone care about anything? No. This is a group of charlatans. This is a group of frauds. And I genuinely do detest them. But let's park that. Mauricio Pochettino, regardless of how average or how dislikable this Chelsea squad are, Mauricio Pochettino has been given the utensils to get this team up the table. There is no way that this team should be 12th in the league. There is no way that this team should have lost more Premier League games than we have won. There is no way that this team should be 15 points off top four, but only 12 points off the bottom three. We are closer to relegation than we are to Liverpool at the top of the league. That is all because of Pochettino. You know, I, you know I hate the board. I think that the Chelsea board, this current Clear Lake, Egg Bowley, axis of Egg Egg Bowley and uh, Egg Barley and Bowley, I think it's genuinely the worst thing that's ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. I really do. Clear Lake winning that bid is the worst thing that has ever happened to Chelsea Football Club. And you can see how it's going. You can see what they have done. You can see how they have destabilised the fan base. You can see the way that they PR the club. You see what they've done to the West View, the dugout club. It's all about, it's all about the pie and mash. It's all about the bread and honey. That is all they care about. And we are losing our soul. We are losing who we are. But Pochettino has a, has a crop of players that should not be closer in terms of relegation, closer to the teams in relegation than they are to the teams at the top of the league. It's a travesty. You know, he has a billion pound team at his disposal and we are worse than useless. I tell you what, Thiago Silva's missus knows what she's talking about. She tweeted, it's time to change. If you wait any longer, it will be too late. And she's absolutely right. It's time to do it now. Like, what is the point in giving Pochettino to the end of the season? What do we gain from that? Literally nothing. We sack him at the end of the season. What happens then? What's the point? Make a move now. Get Mourinho in. Get John Terry in. Make the move. And at least let's bring back a little bit of harmony. A little bit of love. A little bit of soul to Stanford Bridge. I mean, Pochettino, every single day that he's in the job, it is a waste of time. I mean, what does he do? What has he ever done? I don't know. Has any player improved under him? I don't think so. And if I ask you the question, how did this Chelsea team set up? How does Pochettino's Chelsea look? The answer is basically nobody has a clue. Every single player who has worked under him has got worse. Chilwell today. Gusto. Gusto could have been sent off. I mean, it was it was just a shambles. And do you know what? Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez has now played 38 games for Chelsea. That's a full season. What has he ever done for us? Nothing. His contribution is what? Two goals, two assists. Like this is ludicrous spending. And that falls on the recruitment. That falls on Todd Bowley. You know, and it, it gets to the stage today where when we're playing Wolves, like my Chelsea WhatsApp group was going off and everybody's heading to the game. If you don't support Chelsea, I don't know, maybe you'd see it as a shock that Chelsea lost to, to Wolves at home, conceded four at home to Wolves. But all my mates who were going to the game, nobody thought it was a shock. Everybody going to the game today. They're all texting on the way to the game. Basically, everybody said we get beat. Everybody said we get beat. There was literally no shock in it whatsoever. You know, it's completely misleading to think of it as anything other than par for the course. Yeah, Chelsea conceded four. For the second time in four days, we conceded four. And looking at Pochettino, looking at what he's done over the past, what, nine months, we've seen Dizazzi as a fullback. Like, that's just an idiot, isn't it? That is just an idiot. It's just foolish. Dizazzi is not a fullback. We've seen Levi Colwell as a fullback. Like, it is just idiotic. His in game management against Arsenal, the reason Arsenal got a point when Declan Rice scored that goal was because of his ridiculous substitutions. We had the opportunity of getting Eric Ten Hag sacked. We went to Old Trafford. We were on the up. They were struggling. We were ready to get them sacked. They missed a penalty early. The mood is with us. Old Trafford feeling very vulnerable. Suddenly they turn into Fergie's treble winners. We get battered at Old Trafford. I mean, there is literally no point in persevering with Pochettino. Like, what do we get out of it? I truly do not understand how we can possibly think persevering with him is 
worthwhile at all. It's it's a hateful situation. And Mauricio Pochettino being the Chelsea manager, it's just wrong. It doesn't feel right. Certain managers, they do not fit at certain clubs. Mauricio Sarri didn't fit at Chelsea. Roy Hodgson didn't fit at Liverpool. There are clear examples of managers, whether you think they're good or not, they do not fit at a particular club. And Mauricio Pochettino is the president of that club. Mauricio Pochettino at Chelsea in the home dugout, talking about his love of Tottenham. It sickens me. It really does. I tell you what, these venture capitalists, billionaires, American, just chasing the money with our club. We are in real trouble here. And I think that we are a rizzler paper away from needing bowling out protests at Stamford Bridge. I really do. Because we are just a shadow of our former self. Chelsea represents something. We are a club. Whether you love us or whether you hate us or whether you love to hate us, you know who we are. And I think that even in even in terms of rivalry, surely people want Chelsea to exist in the reason that we should. Like, Chelsea are massive rivals with Leeds. I don't wish Leeds well, but I like it when we play them and I would hate their identity to be diluted. I would hate for them to feel like they, the club didn't belong to them anymore. You know that there's a huge rivalry with Chelsea and Tottenham. I would hate for Tottenham to be diluted. The rivalry is important. What these clubs represent is important and it is essential that billionaire American venture capitalists cannot come in and totally eradicate and erode what these British institutions mean. It's painful. And with regard to Leeds, I mean, they've got a link with San Francisco, haven't they? 49ers and that. Dear, oh dear. Um, it's a shocker. Or is it? Um, as always, keen to hear your thoughts in the comments, so uh, let me know what you think about this. Thank you so much.